I think this is the worst night I've ever had. Oh, it's an unmitigating disaster. I've got fingerprints on this. Let me give it a rub. I'm depressed. This jacket's on the way. I can't do it. I can't. I, can't, I haven't got it in me. I was going to do Empire Store's catalogue and everything for you. I haven't got it. Hang on. I know, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. Oh. These prices, it's a waste of time, this. Oh, tw we might as well stop now tonight. Let's not, let's not give away the £150 on Cash Mountain. Let's just go home now. Let's just, just wander off now. Well, we'll just leave it to it. That, that antenna booster that's on there, just leave it on. Play a bit of music, you don't need me. I'll just crack on. Do you? Dear, dear, dear. Yeah, that's that anyway, that's coming up, that's available. Murder a banana. You alright, Kiri? Yeah. What are you doing? Not much. Like usual. Okay. <laughs> oh thanks, that's very good of you. Waste of time we've been on tonight. True. Not at this price. I'm gonna have a break now. Oh, but you do what you want at that price. I do That's what Nokia are charging you. What? This is, not, this is not a joke. This is not a sitcom you're watching. Feels like it. Feels like Terry and June. That was sit, by the way. For people in a bad transmission area. Although you would think it's sick. This jacket's coming up. Can you imagine how much you're going to pay for this leather jacket? It's more like one foot in the grave, this. I'm hungry now. Quite like a Chinese takeaway. That's the main deal with this, yeah. The cash mountain is the only one to be fair on somebody's sick. The cash? Yeah. We'll put too much in, I'll be honest. You can see a um, booster on the way next. Um, if you want to stick around, it's getting depressing, it's up to you. Mm. Depression obviously doesn't suit him that well. He's just got a bit strange, just lurks around... Actually, he lurks around corners quite a lot. Don't worry about him. <laughs> a leather jacket that he's wearing. That's coming up for you in a short while. You can see it there as well. We've also got... Are you just going to stay there all night? Or? I don't know what to do tonight. Right, right. we've got towels on the way for you here at Bid TV. I'll go over it. Yeah, it's best. And we've got... <laughs> you are Russell Hobbs. Can you grab that? No, that's... I don't just... know where to put it. Well, put it in your pocket. I don't put it in my pocket. You... Thanks. Can I have this bit as well, so I can do this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one watching tonight. We can officially do what we want. Hang on a minute. <laughs> right. OK, the model can't move without his music. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Dear God. Excuse me a minute. I'm off! Thirty-five quid for a leather jacket. Excuse me. I like the one where I look back over my shoulder. That's that's the one I like. I do. I, and I think I could have done Grat and Catalog. It's the poses that they do in the underpants that get me. Who takes that seriously as a job? Do you know what I mean? Imagine me in my underpants now, and there's two blokes together showing two different styles. Well, what's that about? And there they are, the two of them. And they're, 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 they're happy about, you know, they're, they're happy together, if you know what I'm saying. And the two of them are standing there giving it a bit of this. What the hell are you pointing at? Who stands in the back garden and points in their underpants? I have been across that page several times, Kiri, I don't mind telling you. <laughs> It's a bit weird. You see me, I'd, I'd just be sitting there in my favourite chair reading the sun. Pants? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll often sit in my pants <laughs> reading the... Unless the doorbell goes, well, then I go into a terror mode. I keep the curtain shut on that basis, nobody will ever see it, you know what I mean? Cup of tea, heating on, underpants, the sun. Huh? I like to be free. Actually, I'll carry on modelling in a minute, but... Actually, only recently... Only recently have I started wearing pyjama bottoms. What? Before... 
I'd often go with a t-shirt, sometimes completely butt naked. There's a thought. Completely naked, right? And suddenly, this Christmas, I got some pyjama bottoms, and I thought, I'm not wearing them, I like to go freelance. Anyway, I tried them on, they're all right. They don't restrict me at all. Where, where, where do you stand on pyjama bottoms? And he's got old. It's not an age thing, Kirch thinks it's an age it thing. It is, it is. <laughs> it's an age thing, it's a comfort thing. <coughs> it's a warmth thing. <sighs> Sometimes I cock my leg out the bed, right? That's me like there, just for down. And I'd cock it out of the bed and I'd think, oh, that's chilly. Chicken that's legs. chilly, I'd think. Matching socks to the jacket. Now that's dedication. <laughs> Shut your face. Right, 31, <laughs> I'm out there for you. 31 pounds. This is the telly that you want to watch, huh? There's some right rubbish on. This is the quality end of the market now. God help us. 30, 31 pounds. This is how America started. Look at them now. We'll have a Las Vegas soon. In Slough or somewhere, I imagine. Huh? Sorry, I keep doing a little bit for you. I used to work in Slough. I used to work in the Observatory Shopping Centre. Don't know if you've been there? Some lovely cookies. I didn't work there. I worked at the radio station there. I was the king of Slough at one point. It's gone downhill since then. 30, 30 pounds, I started wearing pyjama bottoms, that's why. 30 pounds and 42 pounds, how am I going to pull like that? 30 pounds, mind you, I didn't have much chance when I was naked, so. Limited stock. Oh, I like that voice. 2XL is now limited. It's now limited. I wish I had a voice like that. It's now limited. I can only dream. I'm standing there like some sort of flasher. God's sake. Here's a good one. You'll like this. You'll like this. That's the way it's the pose, wasn't it? It's the, it was the. That's the one. Huh? That is the smallest bath towel I have ever seen. That's rubbish, that is. I'm not doing this anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go back to the king of radio in Slough. If this is the way it's going. Here's what? I heard that. <laughs> sorry, it turns out that's the flannel. Sorry, sorry about that. I got confused. Sorry, I got com that's the flannel. That's the flannel. I'm sorry. I thought that was a bath towel. It's easy to get confused. It's late. Not that late, is it? I stayed up till two the other night. I was so tired the next day. I won't do that again. Walked around all day in my pyjama bottoms. You can picture it now. No top on, just my pyjama bottoms. Oh, yes. Occasionally, I'd reach the coffee table, pop a leg up like that. You can see it now. Uh, Helen in Luton. That's a place. Just to be clear, I mean, they're all places, obviously. I'm just saying that is a place. There's Lorraine in Aberdeen. Not been to Granite City for years, Lorraine. Last time I went there, I had a full breakfast on the seafront. It was freezing. Not the full breakfast, the weather. I used to live near there, Bernard. I used to pass Billingham, just uh, Stockton, Middlesbrough, Billingham, for those not in the know, on the A19. Uh, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Bernard, uh, but even at 3 o'clock in the morning, the lights from the ICI plants lights up the whole valley. <laughs> it's quite beautiful. Graham in Wigan. Ah, the pie eaters. That's what they do there. There's Jacob in Halifax, where they have the Eureka Museum, a children's museum where all the incidental music and all the machines was done by Dean Friedman, who had a number one hit with Lucky Stars in 1978. Good God, I'm good. This is why you switch this telly on, eh? You used to think this sort of telly was utter rubbish. You used to switch on just to laugh at it. Now? Oh, sure. For God's sake, put your clothes back on. What's happening here? Will the cash mountain caller get £150 next? I don't know. There's Michael in Bradford, where they have a nightclub next door to the football stadium. And the last time I was there, Bad Manners were playing. Bad Manners, do you remember them? Bust a blood vessel. Lip hop fatty fatty lip hop fatty. <laughs> it's good. Finally, last time I went there, there was a Victorian weekend on. Everyone dressed up as Victorians. It was really weird. Uh, Seven ninety nine.